ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today I will be showing you the macros I use as a dungeon master. Um, well, two of them I got from other places and I didn't make them, which is NPS stats and calc, which calculates the experience. Uh, I'll show you these in character, well, in action. Let's see, NPS stats basically gives you all this information, what they're wearing, their hit dice, which randomizes it their speed, and their senses. So this basically can make their health dynamic and it just pop up their, uh, their armor real quick. Calculation, which is very helpful if you're doing a calculation like experience. Uh, if you're do, doing just a progression, this isn't really necessary. But if you are doing calculation, this is amazing. So let's do, uh, well, let's see. Let's do five show you an example of this. Let's say there's five NPCs, they're all level three. And it gives you the experience each. And this shows you the basically how hard the encounter was. So if the experience each was 400, it was considered a deadly encounter. Um, also, I have dice here, which just basically rolls. You can add a modifier to the dice. And I have all these and my macros. I have a little character called macros that I have all the stuff in. Uh, I made the experience, well I didn't make it, but I followed the instructions and I'll post them in the comments below or in the description on how to set up your experience. It kind of looks like this. Uh, I'll just show you the description instead of showing you this because it's there's a lot to this one. Same thing with the dice. I'll post this all in Maybe in a doc file, because description might be too small. Uh, what else do, can I show you? Um, oh, uh, I also have saving throws. Actually, let me just cancel out of this real quick. Uh, NPS stuff. I felt, figured that this is the most important things to add. Uh, saving throws. It just does all of them all at once. Very handy. Uh, their immunities. Uh, if he was actually immune to something, it would pop up, but he's not. Uh, and I figured I might as well put all these in here because these are probably the most things that PCs are going to fight against against your NPCs, like your athletics or your stealth. Stuff like that. Uh, what else? Oh, your personality? These are based off of tables. And I based it off of the 16 personalities. You can put in past jobs that they did. Uh, things that they like or dislike, what they look like. And I basically made this so just in case if I was making an NPC on the fly, I, I can just click this button and it'll, it'll generate uh, a whole like little backstory for me on the fly. So I don't actually have to do this. Uh, I have a bunch of tables in here. Oh, uh, weather is also a good handy one. I have no wind, light wind, strong wind. Temperature ranging from negative 30 to 30 plus degrees. Uh, no precipitation, light precipitation, and st strong precipitation. And every day I just click this and see what today is going to look like. And depending on how it is, I might slap on a skin on top of the map. Just to basically make the NPCs feel like it's snowing out or it's colder. Stuff like that. Uh, I also have this uh, mysterious roll. So if they do something... I'll just roll this just to kind of keep the uh, PCs on their toes. And group percep perception. perception. Yeah. Basically, if they're walking into an area and there's a secret door and you don't want to say, oh, roll your perception, and they all fail, well, they're, they're going to know that there's something nearby that they probably should have seen. So they're going to start doing investigations and touching things. And it's kind of... Eventually, they're going to get it. So I just do group perception perception that automatically does it. I'll have all these in the comments below uh, in a doc file for you guys because honestly there is a lot of macros and I'll show you um, what these look like. Let's see. I have also a calculator. Always nice to have. It works. It doesn't do roots or square roots uh, but our powers, but it does do times and divide and plus and minus, which is probably all you need in D&D. &D. So that's what that looks like. Dice and the character macros called macro and a macro in macros called dice. 
which is uh, right here. And again, I'll, I'll post all this. I'm just going to show you what it looks like, how to set this up, and then I'll post all the macros. Okay. Uh, group perception. This, uh, yeah, this is what this looks like. You just get put their character names, and it does it automatically for you. Uh, their stats. So this is a, uh, a thing on its own. You don't need to has, go from uh, character macros to this. So that's fine. Their stuff. This is what I do in here. And it's all of this. But don't worry, I'll I'll post all this. Uh, weather. This is based off of a table that I made. And then XPL calc. So it grabs this one, this macro up here, and then starts doing this. Oh, did I miss anything? No, uh, I think I think that about wraps it up. That's about all of the macros I use in my as a dungeon master to basically make things as smooth as possible for me and the PCs. Um, yeah, I hope you found this informative. And if you have any questions or comments below, uh, post them in the comments below. Remember when you're making stuff to leave out any spaces, actually. Because uh, sometimes it can mess up your code. Like if there was a space in dice, oh, that's a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, let's do maybe this. I think it should break. Yeah, see, it breaks. Because there's a space in there. And it doesn't look like there's a space in there. But it still uh, checks that. So make sure there's no spaces in anything, and it's as accurate as possible. Uh, I hope this was informative, and yeah, have a good day. Bye.